Hey, good day everybody. Got Lila Sashi over here. Coming to you for a weekend shave. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. No, I have. It's been busy, but it's always good, right? So, this shave is going to directly correspond, of course, to my mail call video on Friday. So that means, ah, dropping stuff. I'm going to use my time muscle I just got. Piff to me. Still blows my mind that this was a piff. It's a hell of a gentleman. Jason, thank you again. So this is the 0.68 blade gap, scalloped head, scalloped safety bar. Can't remember the name of the handle. I apologize. It's about 100 mils. It's got some very good weight to this, and it's got a brand new, sorry, second use may set in there. For the soap today, I'm going to use a sample. Soap I've never used, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to use Lather Bros El Jefe. Hope I said that right. Got this from uh, JB over at Distorted Egg Shaving. I'll uh, try to link to his uh, channel for you guys to check him out if you haven't already. And I'm going to be using my 50 Badger Lather Bowl. Paragon 2 Band Badger. I'm going to finish all off up today, I think, with Prohibition Style Bourbon Barrel. So I'm going to get loading this off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Glad I paused that. I took a few minutes extra there. I uh, had too much water in my brush. I have to shake it out enough. So we're going to get this started. I'm going to talk about the soap a little bit. So... This is from Lather Bros. As I understand, this is a new formulation from them, or their newer formulation. So we'll see how this goes. This is based on I think the late 80s, early 90s cologne jupe, even though I grew up then. Don't remember it, sorry. <laughs> if I see the bottle, maybe I would. Um, very light scented. You know, if you talk about scent strength on this, um, I want to put this medium light, probably three and a half, four ish, somewhere in there. If you use this 10, 1 to 10 scale. And I'll see how this goes because I definitely overhydrated this a bit. It could be right. Um, <clears throat> scent nose wise, or scent note wise, we'll just read these off. It sounds very, fairly complex. We have bergamot, cinnamon, orange blossom, jasmine, honeysuckle, sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli, amber, looks like tonka bean, musk, and vanilla. It's a little hard for me to find all that, so I hope I got it right. Uh, this was a collaboration soap between Lather Bros and I think it was the Razor Place. If I'm wrong, I'll confirm that in your notes for you guys. Seems very, very easy <laughs> to lather, not overly thirsty. Like I said, I put too much water on this. So far, really not a problem making this lather. I'm going to leave it a little drier than I normally do today. I think that'd be enough of this out of this. So I'm going to see how this goes. No, maybe I won't.
Yeah, it's very light sanded. Definitely, you know, I want to change that from uh, medium light to light strong. Kind of the same thing, but slightly different, if you know what I mean. Like I said, this is definitely to me probably in the three and a half range. From the 10 scale. I don't like using scales too much. It's different for everybody. But it's nice, but I'm, once it's lathered, now I have put a lot of water in here by accident. Um, might have killed off some of that scent, and it is a sample too. Um, it's not that strong at all. One second, got a big lather mess here to clean up. All right, sorry, I just have to clean that up. So here we go, timeless T68 blade gap. Slickness feels pretty good. Definitely more than adequate to uh, shave with. I do have just under 24 hours growth here. Now my upper lip here, I'm expecting a little bit of blood. I was having too much fun shaving with this yesterday. And on my Against the Green Pass, I got caught singing a song. I learned one of these days and I sliced my lip here a little bit. Very good performance with this razor. I love this razor. I'm very, very happy to have one back in my band. Hands a little long, handle is a little longer than what I'm used to on it, but the weight is amazing. So I was with the growing pass. Pretty good. No real complaints of that. So, hope everyone's doing well. We got a good weekend. This is a Sunday shave. Hope to get this up this afternoon for you guys. I do have my youngest daughter's birthday party though. She's been five for a week now. Her birthday is Father's Day. And since we were away, the party's today. Just gonna dry my hands here. So we're gonna do across the grain today. So Thomas calls this their mild blade gap. Still extremely efficient for me. Absolutely zero issues getting a great shave with this razor. The soap's doing very well. So it might be a little more slick if I hadn't overhydrated it too much. I think I passed it, I pushed it past that point today. But this is initial use, initial thoughts, right? Even though I think I overhydrated this, it's not letting me down. So the uh, slickness, glide, whatever you want to call it, is very, it's more than adequate. 
Um, I think there's something I can improve that. I'm using less water. He's got caught. Uh, forgot to wring this out enough. Usually I wring these out more, but I just wasn't paying attention. Hope everyone's had a good weekend. Hope you're loving your shaves. Hope they've been good to you. I know I've enjoyed them all so far. Even with that neck. <laughs> yeah, clean that out after. So the soap, I don't think you can get any more. I think it was a limited edition. Visual's okay. Initial. Oh, got myself a little bit there. That's one thing about this razor, I have to keep reminding myself. Like my carve. This is much heavier, obviously. It feels so effortless that sometimes I just go too fast or stop thinking about it and apply a little bit too much pressure. Feeling pretty good. Okay, Let's see if I open this back up right here right now. Oh, that caught it. Shouldn't have done that, but whatever, right? All right, let's just check this out, see how this feels. Pretty good. Uh, I think I'll do a little touch up there. That might be it. Huh. Always those spots as well. I need to get a towel closer to this camera.
All right, that's going to do it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to clean this all up right now. I'm going to apply a little uh, alum to stop some of this bleeding, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Warm water rinse, clean up, alum block, cold water rinse. Feels pretty good. A couple of weepers, reopen this one. A little bit of irritation, maybe. Might have got a little too close that time. But still very enjoyable. Time for the aftershave, Prohibition style bourbon barrel. This is sandalwood, teak, bamboo, and sweet bourbon. Uh, I think it's a pair nicely. The only common sand, obviously, is the uh, sandalwood, but they're both kind of got this uh, sweetness and uh, freshness, freshness, I guess, to them. So I think they'll go well together. This is an alcohol-free splash, which is a base, obviously. Mm, excuse me. So that's it. My second shave in with the timeless since I got it as a piff. Very close. Apologize, excuse me. Very, very close shave. As you can see, Alan Block did show a little bit of irritation, got a little too close in a couple spots. What can you do? But well, thank you guys for your time. I hope you're having an awesome weekend. I want to again thank JB for the sample of Lather Bros El Jefe, Jefe, sorry. I want to thank my buddy Jason Underwood for arranging this piff for me, for my timeless. I guess this is kind of the review too, right? With uh, the fresh second use Nayseth in it. The brush, my Paragon shaving, two band finest. Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl. And you just saw the Prohibition style uh, bourbon barrel splash. Thank you guys for watching. Again, hope you have a great weekend. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your subscriptions. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please do down below. Please leave your comments, guys. I love trying to answer you and talk to you guys. And other than that, happy shaving. Have a great rest of your, week rest of your weekend. And I'll see you guys next week.